running down the types of MS. Next up, primary progressive multiple sclerosis. According to msaustralia.org.au, about 10 to 15% of folks get diagnosed with this yam and is known by a progressive worsening of symptoms and disability right from the start. No recovery or remitting. Relapses are possible, but not common. And there can be periods of plateau where progression can stabilize for a period of time. Friends of the channel, Dr. Aaron Boster, helps us understand that for PPMS diagnosis, there also needs to be at least two out of three of the following. Either one or more T2 lesions in the brain and two or more T2 lesions on the spinal cord or have oligoclonal bands in the spinal fluid. Do you or a loved one have primary progressive MS? Let me know in the comments. Like and follow for more of these insights, and it ain't advice, just a slice of these MS bits and bites.